The financial secretary has stressed the need to broaden Hong Kong's tax base. But John Zhang says the current political environment is not conducive to the introduction of new taxes. Gerard Silva reports. A structural deficit that could come in seven years. That was the grim prediction of a report by a working group on long-term government finances that took into account factors such as an aging population and a soon-to-be shrinking workforce. At the Hong Kong Bankers Club today, the financial secretary shrugged off suggestions that predictions he had made in the past about the city's finances had not come true. John Zhang noted that it wasn't him who raised fears about a structural deficit, but a team of financial experts. He pointed out that a structural deficit may not actually come true, but that it's time society addresses the issue to try to prevent it from happening. Despite this, he ruled out the introduction of a goods and services tax. He noted the outcome of a consultation conducted by his predecessor, Henry Tang, which revealed that the public will not accept it. Tang agreed, however, that the issue of broadening Hong Kong's tax base is worth further discussion. Released about a month ago by the government-appointed Working Group on Long-Term Financial Planning, the report did not rule out the introduction of new taxes, but focused mainly on cutting public expenditure as a way to avoid a future financial crisis. Mr. Silva, TVB News.